Hi, I'm John Paul of the blog Pementor.com. This video is about SEPA and ISO 2022 message identifiers. What are their meaning and how can we find that out? So a pretty interesting topic if you are a payments professional. Stay until the end of the video and like it if you find it useful. A SEPA message identifier consists of four letters and a series of numbers. Pain 1.1.3, PAX 8.1.2, PAX 4.1.2, and so on, are examples of message identifiers used in the SEPA credit transfer scheme. You may wonder when you see PAX 8.1.2, why do we have the numbers 8.1.2? What does PAX mean? Is there a meaning behind all that? Well, the answer is yes. And we find explanations in the standard ISO 2022. In fact, SEPA message identifiers are inherited from the standard ISO 2022. And in that standard, Message identifiers consist of two elements. First, the message identifier itself, the four letters followed, followed by the three first digits. And second, the message version, the remaining five digits. Let's first consider the four letters. The four letters are business area codes in the standard ISO 2022. Pain stands for payment initiation. CAMP stands for cash management. PAX for payment, clearing, and settlement. Pain messages are used by originators to send instruction to their bank and receive status report about their execution from their bank. They are used for the information exchange between banks and their customers. In the customer to bank space, camp messages are used to inform the customer about the cash situation as a result of the execution of instruction or the reception of payments. Customers can also send camp messages to cancel orders or transactions. In the interbank space, the camp messages are also used to cancel orders or transaction, but they may also be used to reply on cancellation request. PAX messages are used to transfer funds from one financial institution to another. They are used exclusively in the interbank space. Let's see on the ISO 2022 pages what is the meaning of the four letters. So let's go there by clicking on the link here. So now we are on the ISO 2022 pages. Here we go to the menu catalog and then we click on full catalog link here. And when we scroll down, we see here, so the list of ISO 2022 message per message identifier also per business area. So what we see here are the different business areas. We have the CAMT, as you see, it means cash management. The PAIN stands for payments initiation and PAX for payment clearing and settlement. We can expand the PAX business area to see all the messages that are listed under that area on this page. So this is pretty much what I wanted to show you. Let's go back to the presentation. So we see that the four letters and the three digits are enough to identify a specific message. The paying one message is used to send credit transfer orders or instruction from a customer to a bank. This message cannot be used for other payments instruments, direct debits or cards, for example. 
If a customer wants to send direct debit instruction, he has to use another message. And by the way, that message is called PIN8. The PAX8 message is used for declaring and settlement of credit transfers exclusively, as I said, among financial institutions. This message cannot be used for another payment instrument. If a bank wants to clear and settle direct debit instructions, for example, it must use another message type called PAX3. So every time you see pain 1, you know it is about credit transfer orders from a customer to the bank. And every time you see PAX8, you know it is about credit transfer clearing and settlement between financial institution. Pretty interesting. Now, what about the five last digits? All of them are used for the versioning of the messages. Pain 1.1.3 means version 1.3 of the Pain 1 messages. When a new version of the message is published, only the last digit is increased. The next version after the pain 1.1.3 is the pain 1.1.4. It means that we will have the pain 1.2.0.1 after the pain 1.1.99, and that will not happen before some time. Now, if you look at all the messages carefully, you see that the digits 4, 5, and 6 are always the same series 001. Why is that the case? Well, because the ISO 2022 standard has been around for a couple of years only. All the messages have the version 001 dot something. The 001 does not have an important meaning now, since all the ISO 2022 messages have it at the same positions. That is why the 001 is generally ignored when the message version is given and only the last two digits are considered. Uh, people will say, for example, can you process the pain 1 version 2 instead of the pain 1 version 1.2? And of course, they will mean version 1.2. So the 1 is implicit. The people in general will speak about the version 2 and not the version 1.2. Well, that's it. This ends this presentation about SEPA message identifiers. I hope you find it useful. If that's the case, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. You will then have notifications when the next videos will be available. You can also go to the blog paymentor.com and subscribe to the newsletter. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.